Okay, and we're live, and I forgot to hit enter on the notification things. So people will show up eventually, or they won't, and Dan will cry. Because he takes you not showing up very personally. I'll try not to do it on stream, but I may cry anyways. Okay, that's fine. Do what you got to do, man. Don't be ashamed yeah, of your emotions. Watching. All right. Hey, uh, we're here. We're supposed to be playing Anvia, but Joe has been under a lot of shit for work. Uh, so we're not ready to do another play test. So we're going to be doing the quiet year. It is a map drawing game for post-apocalyptic settings. Um, the idea is that we're going to make a setting for... Hey, Bert. If I knew you were going to be available, Bert, I would have had you hop in too. Uh, but yeah. Eventually, we'll make this into a setting for America or some game that I want to run in the future. It's the shouting here. That's right. Um, if it's usable. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Post-apocalyptic. Imagine this is some nondescript place in America, uh, you know, set 50, 60 years after, you know, the complete and total collapse of civilization and the rise of mutants and monsters and crazy shit. So stuff that goes along with that. Uh, but we're going to get started. And the first thing we all get to do. So we're going to do the turn order is going to be and actually... Uh, it's going to be clockwise for me, so I will start us off. Actually, we'll do the overlay. Clockwise on the overlay, so Chuck, Alex, Jake, Joe, Dan. Then back to Chuck. Make sense? All right. Yep. Uh, so the first thing we do before we start playing is we set up a landscape. Uh, each of us... We'll get to draw a bit of terrain, habitat, something on the map. Something as simple as how about the communities in a rocky desert or, you know, something as complicated as it's in the ruins of an old amusement park that's collapsed or over here is this really creepy forest or swamp or shit like that. Railroad, anything. Um, yeah, I guess I'll start to kind of set the theme. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, so I'm going to use the drawing tool, those of you unfamiliar. It's on the left, it's a little pencil, and then click on the squiggly line. Uh, I'm going to start us off that this community is built around an old abandoned high school with a bell tower. And we'll draw some windows. Doesn't have to be good, I'll make it pretty later. And then same thing over here. Okay. I started my part. Alex, what uh, what are you adding to the terrain, the area around us? Mm. Mm. Who would be around a school? Uh, halfway houses. <laughs> um, people who shouldn't be around a school. So just be like a pond or a lake or. Yeah. And I mean, you can think as small as you want or as large as you want. You could say, fuck, there's a mountain range, a handful of, you know, 20, 30 miles away. It can be as small as there's a strange hole in the ground in the back of the schoolyard that no one knows where it goes to. It's where you put all your trash. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Small, big, weird, normal. We'll have trash hole. Yeah. Maybe it's that bad. Want there to be something cool, something fun. Oh, the blank. Fine. If you want, we can pass it to Jake and come back to you after. You know what? Right next to the school. Yeah. There is a giant apartment block. Sure. 
And if you want to write that in, you can click on the text tool underneath. I don't. This is too much fun. <laughs> All right. So there's a giant ass apartment block. And <laughs> we can flesh that out later. Uh, but now we pass it to Jake. Jake, what are you adding? Well, it's, uh, there's an apartment block on that side. Uh, ooh, let's... I think some sort of a landmark behind the school would be good. I uh, like um, I think a river with a great big chain link fence. Sure. So it's just, uh, I was that in my head before you said that. Stole your idea. <laughs> Now you do got a well, fight. I mean, you know, that was a good there. idea. It was just, I was, was thinking good. about that. Like a river, and then just a chain link fence to keep the kids from like just climbing and jumping into the river sure. and being stupid. Okay. Next up is Joe. Okay. Um, I want to put something farther off sure. where kind of like the um can i say like this town is kind of it feels like most of the buildings or buildings are kind of like oriented towards a mountain range sure this, this defining like mountain range way off in the horizon to the north yeah go draw it in um is this like say south is north just to be or we'll just say it's to the south is this like northeast southwest i haven't to, defined that so if you want to define that now go for it i'm gonna say it's just it matches cardinal directions how okay. do you get the color uh it's the little cog down below you click on that and then the line you can change the color there and then hit uh Configure default. Oh, okay. We're gonna so, yeah. do. We're gonna put uh, north up there. That. And we'll make it big. Cool. Um, yeah, we're gonna say there's like this defining mountain range. Like, it's still selecting. Uh, so when you're on the pencil off. tool, then you got to click on the squiggly or any of the other shape tools. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Let's say, yeah, down here, there's like this defining mountain range. And actually, I'm going to, this might Not get to scale. bright for a second. I'm going to wait till you're done drawing. And then I'm going to change something. Okay. Does that need to be a darker shade? Nope. I'm just going to turn it white. Oh, okay. That works. Okay. Dan. Debating about it either being a forest or more like a wasteland of sorts with just weird concrete animals and things in it. Whichever you want to do. I like the ladder. Just throw it out there. Yeah. I might go with that. I don't know how I'm going to draw that, but. You just put a big ass circle and just put the word wasteland or some shit. Yeah. I feel like that's going to be like out to the side here. Sure. Nah. Wastes. Cool. All right. And then there's little animals and stuff in it. Made out of concrete. Okay. What do they mean? What do they, what mean? Do, they do? Uh next up, we have to come up with our starting resources. We're each going to name a resource for the community, something we can have either in abundance or scarcity, uh, but we're not going to draw it quite yet. So everyone, I'll come. I'll put it in a list on the side. So we're each going to name a resource. Uh, so there's the river behind the school. Uh, so I'm going to say our first resource is going to be water. I'm just going to write it down here to mark it. All right. Uh, Jake, what's our next resource? Uh, 
Well, that concrete wasteland over yonder, I would say maybe just like a, a warehouse full of bags of dry concrete mix. Okay. Oh, I beat you to it. Oh, concrete animals. All right. I thought you were doing concrete mix. That's fine. Cool. No. Yeah. Oh, I skipped Alex. Fuck. Alex, come up with a resource. I was going counterclockwise on my or clockwise on my screen, not the yeah. Resource, something that we use. Something that's, you know, uh, consumable, usable, important to the community in some way. And we can figure out, you know, the hows, what and why's later. Stay with the waste and the giant apartment block in the school. There's a lot of just raw like metal. Okay. And a fence. Metal. Na, 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 na. Metal. All right. Uh, Is that a guitar hero? Yeah, that was. Maybe. Joe. All right. Um, I'm going to say off. Um, there's like some uh, can I say like where like a new area that this resource would be in or no, is it just, just a, resource? a resource okay um, I'm going to say off certain banks in this river uh, there are um, there's like a strange soil that can grow um, odd things and its properties are not very well understood and this seems to be the only place in the area that has it cool so, super growing soil rare potting soil all right dan squirrels lots and lots of giant squirrels squirrels they're good for everything. Meat, clothing, uh, toys. But they're, they're squirrels of unusual size. <laughs> Let me check, update that. Maybe they've been eating stuff growing in the weird dirt lately. Okay. All right. All right, now, one of these resources is in abundance. We've got a shitload of it. What do we all think it should be? Food is important, so I'm kind of leaning towards squirrels. But... <laughs> Utility and danger. Yes. Um, yeah, I think squirrels would be the most interesting. I have a okay. lot of. So we're going to put squirrels. Abundance. Everything else is in scarcity. We want it. It's just hard to find. Okay, now we're ready to start the game itself. We're going to start in spring. Playing through, it's very easy. We're going to go through spring until all the cards are done. Then we'll move on to fall. Or spring, summer, fall, winter. Um, winter is the oddball here because it could end at any time. There's a card that says it's done. So... Uh, yeah, I'll start us off to kind of show an example. And then we'll continue in the circle with Alex going next. All right. I got that. Okay, so my card. 
there is a disquieting legend about this place. What is it? Or, alarming weather patterns destroy something and what? Uh, I'm going to go with the legend. Um, and it's going to be that... Let me get... A journal entry so I can keep notes. The concrete animals are rumored to come alive when no one's watching. Because they always seem to be in different places in the waste. Like that. Okay, so I played my card. Uh, we don't have any project started yet so that's fine uh so the next up is the take an action or draw or discover something new hold a discussion or let me scooch these dice down start a project i'm going to go ahead and start a project uh and my project is going to be an irrigation system going between oops the school god damn it moving my lines the school the apartments and the river and i'll just label that so we know what it is And I am not going to spell it right. Who cares? Uh, and then I'm going to roll a d6. Five. So it's going to take five weeks to complete. And everyone's turn is a week. Uh, okay, my turn's over. Alex, you're up. Press for select. Just click on spring. And then click on the little journal entry there and read it to us. Where does everyone sleep? Who is unhappy with this arrangement and why? Or what natural predators roam this area? Are you safe? <coughs> huh. Hmm. I think I would pick what natural predators roam this area. Okay. And I'm going to say there is a lot of natural predator. And this is, once again, post-apocalyptic. So go as mundane or as wild as you want. I'm going to say there's a lot of wild dogs in there. Yeah. Okay. Dogs and squirrels. <laughs> You're safe around them as long as there's no food on you. The second they smell food on you, that's when they that's when they crazy. Cool. Uh, all right. So if you want to draw drag that, uh, actually I can do it. I've got the right tool selected. Five goes back, and four comes out. Uh, now you get to take an action. Do you want to discover something new? So create something new and draw it on the map. Hold a discussion where you ask a question or make a statement. Or finally, start a new project. I want to discover something new. Sure. What are you discovering? In the back corner, something I can draw on here, right? Yeah. Back corner, right, right over here. There's a small bed. Oh, okay. Old bed office. <laughs> there you go. 
but yeah, so there's an old little vet office way in the back, right by the creek. Cool. Okay. Turn passes to Jake. Alrighty. Spring table, give me your wisdom. Uh, there's a large body of water on the map. Where is it? What does it look like? You know? Or there's a giant man-made structure on the map. Where is it? Why is it abandoned? Dang, I wanted this one. <laughs> so this is Man. calling you to create something new on the map. Hmm. I think uh, for the large body of water on the map it could be like a new um water reservoir that's with um you know where like the new where the water from the irrigation system is actually being filtered okay so where you've got the uh, river here where the actual water is you've got the sort of false uh reservoir on the other side of the river here that's actually like collecting the water where the irrigation system is taking the water from. Sure. So we got this huge water reservoir. Yeah. I can't spell. Or maybe it should be on the uh, nearer side of the river here. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be down on that side? Yep. Cool. I can get rid of that for you. Okay. Yeah. So the die adjusts from four down to three. Uh, so do you want to discover something new, hold a discussion, or start a project? Eh. I'll hold a discussion. Okay. Uh, Question or statement? Little option. Uh... Question. So you ask a question uh, and we all get to answer it. Yeah. Um, why was the old uh, veterinary office abandoned? All right. Joe, you lead us off. So what do you mean a bit like why was it abandoned? Before the apocalypse, or like, were there people? Yeah, it seems in to it? have not been in use since before the apocalypse. Hmm. Um. Insurance fraud. Yeah. If you ever done. Yep. All right. We're running out of town. So Dan, why was it abandoned? Uh, all the pets, the longer they stayed there, the crazier they got. They started attacking people. All right. Um, let's see. It was abandoned. The insurance fraud. They tried to do it through arson but they didn't get any of the crazy pets out. But with the mixture of the chemicals and the fire, it didn't kill the pets. It made them stronger. Uh, damn it, I skipped you, Dan. Hmm? It's your turn. Or did you already go? You already went. I'm looking between my two screens and I'm getting confused. Okay, I went, so Alex goes. So far we have, there was insurance fraud, mm -hmm. then a fire, only animals that were stuck in there, strong and strange. Yeah. 
How can you make this more intense? Oh, he, he the owner of the, the, the vet, the veterinary clinic or whatever you'd call it. While the animal survived, he did not. They say he was burned alive. Okay. Then finally back to Jake. Answer your own question. Hmm. Um, it just got, uh, because of all the strange happenings surrounding that one building, there was a lot of talk about the ground it was built on being cursed. And so whether that was verified or not, is just at this point irrelevant. They just decided we're not having anything to do with this place. Might as well be cursed as far as we're concerned. The pets okay, so we Why actually need to go on break real quick because Liam's having some trouble. So I'm going to kick us on the break screen and we'll be right back. Okay. Take your time. Okay. Crisis is under control for now, so let's do this. Uh, we just wrapped up Jake, who held a discussion asking why the vet was abandoned. So now it goes down to Joe. Uh, what do I do? Uh, hit spring, I'm draw a card. Okay. Spring, draw a card. Do I hit the eight? Yep, hit that and go ahead and read what it says. Okay, it says an old piece of machinery dis discovered, uh, broken, but perhaps repairable. What is it? What would it be useful for? Or an old piece of machinery is discovered, cursed and dangerous. How does the community destroy it? Hmm. So it's your job to pick one of those and define the answer. Let's see. Um, I like the idea of a repairable machine. Um, and I want to say it's a machine that looks like it um, powers like a portal or something of some kind. Um, but we don't know where it goes to or who made it or why, like nothing other than that. It's just looks like it makes some sort of portal. Um, do I do anything else with that? Uh, that's good for that. Then we move the project die. Is it the kind that can be fixed up or the kind that we need to destroy immediately? The kind that can be fixed up. You know what I just realized? I don't have twos on there. And then maybe we'll decide it needs to be destroyed immediately. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> when it really opens legit. a portal to machine hell <laughs> Okay, so was it cursed or not? That just doom. Not cursed. Well, um, not explicitly cursed. Okay. <laughs> it's broken. That's all we know about it. Cool. All right, so we've adjusted the project dies. Now you get to take an action. Uh, hold, discover something new, hold a discussion, or start a project. Um... What so I guess I don't understand start a project. Uh just come up but with a like, project. Yeah. Here, you've watched it before, Dan. Can you explain it yeah. while I've got background yeah. noise? Yep. Basically, like starting a project is like 
you want uh like maybe you want a highway coming into town or something like that so you're you're gonna build a highway to you know it doesn't need to connect anywhere but just outside um or maybe you're building a well for water or you know city city construction okay yeah so i say discover something new do i say what the new thing i discover is yeah Yeah. you get to define it it's basically just like the, the the very first phase where we, you know, oh, okay. put water and, and wastes and mountains and stuff. Okay. Uh, I think I want to discover something new. Um, and I want to say up in the mountains, there is a old abandoned asylum that looks oddly too much like a church. Okay, get that drone on there. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Tall asylum. There. Oh, gosh. I believe I'm up now. Oh, I got the queen. Project finishes early. Uh, let's see. I guess we only have one project, so the irrigation system finishes early because everyone was available to work on it. Cool. We can remove that die. Hmm. I wanted to take this a different way, but maybe I maybe I'll do it this way instead that there well now i'll I'll save this one for later i I do want to do i think like a project so now that we have irrigation maybe we have some fields or something so we can grow some craps (laughs) with our our fancy mutant dirt and our good clean water i figure it'll probably between be between maybe the school the apartments There we go. Look at those those fine fields. All right. I figure we better be doing something. <laughs> Put that weird dirt to mix. Yeah, that's right. Uh, while I got background stuff going on, we're going to skip my turn this round. And pass okay. it over. To I Alex. still gotta have the discussion too, or whatever I'm gonna do. Uh, well, you. I thought your take in action was to start a project. Oh yeah, start a project. Sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. Pass it on to Alex. Yeah. Sorry. My bad. I got carried away. Which one am I rolling now? Am I doing summer? Yep, I believe so. No, still on spring. Okay. Oh. Okay, summer is sleeting. Discard the top two cards off the top of the deck and take two actions this week. There's the discard. So yeah, you get to take uh we get just the die from four to three, and yeah, take two actions. Hell yeah, brother. Bro, my keyboard can 
All right. First action. I want to hold a discussion. Yes, I want to hold a discussion. Why is there an asylum so close to the school? Okay, Jake, your first answer. Um, hmm. Jeez, that's uh, that is a very good question. Uh, <laughs> I want to know. Well, I mean, the reason why it looks like a church is because it used to be a church. It's just that uh, a lot of people reached their elderly years in the earlier times of the city, and uh, they started losing their uh, faculties a lot more rapidly than usual. So they got housed in the church, which became an asylum. Who's next? Joe. Uh, so I continue saying, like, why was it so close to the school? Yep. Yep. It can be your completely own take on it, or you can build on what was already said, or you can even contradict it because they don't necessarily have to okay. be truths. They're rumors. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I want to say that um, it's a long time ago. Uh, it was like a multi-purpose building and it also was the school. Um, but as there were too many kids that did what some school districts do and they make like another school kind of nearby and split the load. So uh, they made like a bigger, better school nearby that uh, slowly became the main school. Just, just to confirm, you're saying it was a school first, then a church, now to the asylum. Uh, so it was, it's always, it's an asylum, but it looks oddly too much like a church okay. I that mean, was a school. I, I want to <laughs> say that I went to a school that had a church. Yeah. So could totally still fit. Dan, you're up. You had some, what are you throwing in there? What are you throwing in the pot? I'm, yeah, I'm trying to think of because you, you got some of my ideas already. I'm wondering maybe if it was an asylum the whole time and it was mocked up to look like a church to draw people in and intern them against their will, basically. I like that idea. The most multi-purpose building of all time. It's just mountains. like three contracted out companies that like didn't know what it was supposed to be. Right. <laughs> Working independently. Okay. Alex, answer your question. All right. Why is an asylum so close to the school? Well, actually, the school was an asylum at one point changed it to a school and then so the asylum was built after hard a few years of uh, rough streets just to give those people uh, a familiar territory they built an asylum close to where they used to roam get their help so that's why it's so close by that's what i heard Okay, Alex, you get two actions. So, what's your second oh, action? I totally forgot about that. Uh, I want to start a project. Yeah, I would say you can't have more than one project going at a time. So, I want to do that. How do I do that? Make something up. Just something that you want done. Like I said, like a road, a pond, or you know, a water well, or 
uh, you can make another building or something like that. Maybe you're making a, a hotel or something or a, a bar. We'll make it a farm. We want to be self-sustainable. Make it a farm. Okay, so we got the crops. So you'll add all the farm buildings to go along with the crops. Very agricultural. Go ahead and draw that on a map and then roll me a d6. I'll finish at the same time at this rate. Not a big farm, but you know. Eating cornflakes in no time. Are we just making the Kellogg's campus? I, I guess so, because I mean, we, field, we got fields over here, too. So I've heard they have a burnt out veterinarian clinic on their campus, too. Okay. While you're drawing that, Alex, why don't you go ahead and start up your turn, Jake? All righty. Still on spring, then? Ooh. Uh, what important and basic tools does the community lack or... Where are you storing your food? Why is this a risky place to store things? Um, hmm. um, let's go with the uh, important basic tools. Uh, seems... Uh, no, well, actually, we're building a farm. We're building a... God. Okay, so there has to be like a place to store all of the food that we're growing, but then it's got to be dangerous. Uh, it could or be risky to store there. Old buildings or something like that, like old silos or something. Yeah, I think maybe there's just um, an old silo uh, near the concrete wastes, and people just don't like it being there because, um, well, because of all the rumors of. Uh, the moving concrete animals when no one's looking. It's like, uh, it's it can't just be going there on a regular basis. Sometimes they're right up or right up by the silos. It's also where the giant squirrels are roaming now these days. Between the moving concrete animals, the giant squirrels, the wild dogs roaming the streets. Just having a nice, especially wild dogs that attack you when you're carrying food, just having a giant place to store your food seems like a bad idea. Don't forget to draw it. Only under attack by dogs. I did, and I uh, tried to write silo on it, but uh, it looks... Um, it looks like a dick. Horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll adjust the die. Go ahead and take your action. All right. Um... Hmm. Hold uh, a discussion. I think um, I think it's a bit weird how like the fields aren't even done being properly dug out yet, and yet there are crops starting to come in full bloom already. Like, okay, uh, that's your such good luck. That is my statement for the whole of discussion so yeah jake makes the statement everyone else gets to add to that statement uh so joe you're up next that so you're saying it's weird that the crops are blooming are they like out of season you're saying or yeah not just out of season Green like inside it's, it's yeah it's not even done being built yet the fields. Hmm. I'm going to say this is the first year that's happened. Dan? Some of the crops growing here are crops that people have never even seen before.
We don't even know if they're edible. Uh, I'm still needing to pass my turn, so we'll kick it over to Alex for mm -hmm. your statement edition. Pretty weird, because some of these crops growing are growing plants or vegetation at irregular sizes. You know, small, small uh, watermelon, big berries, weird stuff. Nobody knows why. Okay, Joe, your turn. All right, uh, still spring. Yeah. Okay, are there children in the community? If there are, what is their role in the community? Or how old are the eldest members of the community? And what unique needs do they have? It's like a one. card. That's a good <laughs> fucking card. Uh, <laughs> man, I like both of those. Uh, how old are the eldest members of the community? I think it gets a lot cooler to say that there's just really fucking ancient people. Um, so um, I'm going to say the oldest members in the community claim to be so old that they saw life before the apocalypse. Um, and the unique needs they have are... Um, Do I have to, uh, I want to say there's a ritual that, or there's a pilgrimage that needs done by the community uh, every year to keep them happy. Okay. I will move the dice. Uh, you go ahead and take your action. Okay. <clears throat> My action. Uh, discover something new. Hold a discussion. Start a project. Okay. Um, <clears throat> hold a discussion. Uh, let's do hold a discussion. What is the pilgrimage? Um, like, what are the details of this pilgrimage? Who needs to be in it? How many people need to do it? What are they doing? Where are they going? Like, pilgrimage details. That's what I want the discussion to be about. All right. So, uh, Dan, you get to answer first. I think the people who go on the pilgrimage are selected by a lottery. <laughs> so the oldest people, and they're selected by lottery. Is it the old people who go on the pilgrimage? Or so the, the so people old people the aren't the ones that were going on okay. the pilgrimage. They it's need they other people. townsfolk to go on a pilgrimage for them. Okay. Okay. People going are selected. through a lottery uh okay i think i can take a turn this time around uh the details of the pilgrimage selected via lottery the pilgrimage is very dangerous and only like one out of ten come back every year Alex? 
Say that one more time. I just want to make sure. Uh, what are the details of the pilgrimage? The pilgrimage... Oh, snap. Uh, thanks there, Sovereign Bohemian, for that sub. Uh, yeah, the details of the pilgrimage, uh, it's every year. People who go are selected through a lottery, and the pilgrimage is very dangerous, and only one out of ten return. Add, uh, answer the question. Must have a pretty bustling community. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. So, man, what is the question? There's a pilgrim. So, um, by um, my thing was that uh, there were old people, and their unique need is that they needed townsfolk to go on a pilgrimage for them every year. Okay. Um, and then the discussion is, what are the details of this pilgrimage? And we've already decided that it was dangerous, and the people that go on it are decided by a lottery. And Oops. those who go on the pilgrimage are not allowed to talk about the pilgrimage to those who have not gone on it yet. A secret pilgrimage. Far back as my chair goes. <laughs> Jake uh, the editor of the school paper tried to sneak along on the pilgrimage but didn't come back Uh, then I think, Joe, you get to answer your own question. Oh. Um. If the pilgrimage, uh, let's say there's the, one of the only details that people know about the pilgrimage is that if it is done, um, and exceeds expectations, it can be off-put to five years instead. Okay, that's your turn. Now we're at day end. I guess we still got a couple more spring rolls to do yet, right? Uh, after you, there's two more. Mm. A charismatic young girl convinces many to help her with an elaborate scheme. What is it? Who joins her endeavors, start a project to reflect, or a charismatic young girl tries to tempt many into sinful or dangerous activity? Why does she do this, and how does the community respond? I'm not sure what to do on this one. I'm wondering if she takes food and makes offerings to the concrete animals. <laughs> Once again, I like that idea. But this is sinful in this case because it's, it's taking food, you know, from people. They're stealing the food. I think that's my idea. I think our farms are done. I can't, well, I made a line where one shouldn't be. So I don't know if I can move them or not. Can I move them? No, nope, I don't think I can move them. Well, um, I want to start a discussion, a rumor that um, the elderly people I've been waiting for this one now. 
the elderly people are actually running a cult out of the asylum. And uh, that's actually the secret to their, their age. And the, uh, the pilgrimage is just, you know, materials for their youth. <laughs> So I, I think, assuming Chuck is still busy, it's up to you, Alex. Recap on what everything was said. Uh, the the old folks are running a cult out of the asylum, uh, and that's actually the secret to their youth, you know, or, or longevity. Can't go wrong with a cult. Mm -hmm. You're right, and I'm just adding to it. You're, you can add yeah. to it. You can, you know, vary it slightly, or you know, whatever you feel like. How do I spice this? Often the question I ask myself. What's the question? Or what do, do you need guidance on something? Uh, I, I started a, a, that, a rumor that uh, the elderly folks are running a cult in the asylum, and that's actually the secret to their longevity, because you can't go wrong with a cult. Okay. So if that's your statement, Alex, you just need to add to it. Elderly actually don't let anybody under the age of 65 into the asylum. <laughs> You have to have your AARP card to even get in. <laughs> Jake? I think you're muted. You are muted. All right. Well, uh, even though you say nobody under 65 is allowed in there, I heard a rumor that the quote unquote pilgrimage is just the young people being locked up in the asylum to have whatever keeps the old people's longevity going, going. Oh, don't come back. Some of them don't make suitable sacrifices. <laughs> uh, Joe? Um... It was a cult in the asylum. Keeps the old people alive. Um, but anytime anyone's gone to look for proof, there's nobody seemingly there because it's abandoned. Okay. Whose question was that? That was mine. Your statement? Okay. Uh, so you already added to it. Yeah. Okay. That means your turn is done. Uh, we need to adjust the dice for your turn, which means that the farm and the crops are now up and running. Um, so I think that means that we can add food as a resource that's neither in abundance nor scarcity. Brother. Brother. Okay. Uh, that was you, Dan. I guess that's yep. my turn. Um, Liam is in bed. Uh, hopefully he's He'll give me time to do this. So yeah, I'll draw a card. Let me double check, see how many we got left. I think just one or two, maybe. We've got one left after this. So after, on Alex's turn, you'll be the last of spring. 
All right, someone new arrives. Who? Or two of the community's younger members get into a fight. Who provoked them? Oh, I'm going with the younger members fighting. Um, two twins. Okay, I think my note deleted something. That's fine. All right, two twins are fighting. They're both early 20s. Uh, because one of them was picked for the lottery and tried pawning off that he was actually the other one. Try to do the switcheroo. Okay. So that's why they're fighting. Uh, adjust the dice. We don't have any dice to adjust. Uh, take an action. I'm going to hold a discussion and ask a question related to the card I just got. So these two twins were fighting, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's got to be laws of some kind in this community. Um, so what are the punishments? Like, what kind of punishment would be for minor crimes like this? Uh, and Alex, you get to answer first. Minor I feel like they have to. Manual labor is always a love thing. Okay. So they have to do some manual labor in the concrete, move it around concrete mix and gather. For an allotted amount of hours, days. Okay. Uh, Jake, you get to answer. I think some other sort of uh, community service project would be good, like um, painting the school. Okay. Joe? Um, or if they are particularly, um, I don't know the word would be, like skilled, skilled in hunting. Um, yeah, then they uh, up them wolves. can pay a minor penance with two dog pelts or ten squirrel pelts. I like that. Okay, that was Joe. Dan? I wanted to try and come up with something different than this now, but all my ideas have been taken. <laughs> Um, what else can you do for minor crimes other than work? <laughs> Maybe you have to, uh, gosh, darn it. I feel like this is the same thing. We have to, uh, spend the time, um, doing community service for the elderly. <laughs> Okay. Sing their carols and yeah. in their beds and stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I'll answer my own question with these my you know uh, community service punishments. If they don't work for the minor crimes, eventually you get enough minor crimes stacked up. You have to stay the night in the waste alone. There you go. I like that. Okay, uh, that was my turn, which means it passes to Alex, who will draw the last spring card. Brother. Uh, 
Okay. Predators and bad omens are afoot. You are careless, and someone goes missing under ominous, 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 ominous circumstances. Who, or predators and bad omens are afoot. What measures do you take to keep everyone safe and under surveillance? It also says do not reduce project dice this week. Yeah, we don't get any. Not a big deal. Okay. I think I'm going to go with uh, uh, we were careless and someone goes missing un under some weird circumstances. Um, ooh. Feel free to make up anyone with any relevance. I'm going to go with Dylan Dylan Pumpernickel. He went missing. Uh, we were careless because he said he had saw something by the, the veterinarian, somebody moving in and out, not, you know, a weird animal. And we just carelessly told him to investigate and report back. He has not come back. Not Dylan. Okay. Uh, so no dice to adjust. So yeah, take an action. Okay. I want to hold a discussion. Because this is a whole, like a, a city, right? Like a group. Yeah, like a community. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, who the fuck runs this place? Ooh, that's a good question. That's my question. Uh, Joe, you're the first one to, I'm sorry, Jake, first one to answer. Old man Pumpernickel, of course. That's why we had to drop everything to look for Dylan. <laughs> uh, Joe? Um... There is a man who considers himself a prophet who is one of the only people who claims to be able to talk with the uh, old people and understand them. And he seems to have a uh, odd amount of influence over anyone with any sort of power in town. A suspicious amount of influence. Okay. Uh, Dan. I was going to say the uh, survivors from the pilgrimage are the people who run the city. Okay. So old man pumpernickel setting is like the Maybe president. He's like the, the president of it. And it's like a, a council of survivors because now they know too much. They may or may not be the ones that are let out. Crap. Now I have to think of something. Who runs this place? Old Man Pumpernickel is number one. There's the odd man who considers himself a prophet and is the only one who can talk with the old people, understand them, and has a large amount of influence over it. And those who return from the pilgrimage are on a council to help run things. Um, old Man Pumpernickel is the current old man pumpernickel because every time old man pumpernickel dies um the next oldest member of the community is renamed old man pumpernickel and all of his descendants are also given the last name of pumpernickel nice all right uh alex you asked that question right Mm -hmm. uh, two, two, three. Who did we skip? 
Oh, the reason this campaign by Divi. Alex asked it, then Jake said no. We didn't. Who said old man pumpernickel? Jake, what was your answer? That was mine. Old man pumpernickel, yeah. Okay. Mm. Do and, I still need to answer my own question? Yeah, Joe said is a prophet. Fuck, I'm stupid. I didn't write down my own answer, so that's why I'm not <laughs> seeing the right number. God damn it. <laughs> Alex, answer your own question. Oh, right. There is uh, one other leader, Laura O'Kane. Works. She is an old janitor for the apartment building. So she's actually been keeping that place up and nice and tidy. And slowly is, you know, sunk in her heels into that whole building. So And what building was that? There, the apartment block. If you work there, you sleep there, you eat there, she says how you do it. And uh, what was her name again? Laura O'Kane. Laura O'Kane. All right, cool. Uh, let me double check. I believe that is the end of spring. It is. Uh, so now we move to autumn. Uh, I'm sorry, summer. I'm getting my shit out of order. Summer, the big sun. Uh, Alex, you just went. So Jake, you're starting us out with summer. Ooh, Jack of Diamonds. Predators and bad omens afoot? Wait a minute. Did you click on Did spring I... again? No, I clicked on summer. Hmm. What did hmm. I do? Hang on a second. You got the same thing I'd gotten. Yeah. So it looks like... Roll tables goofed up. Yeah. Hang on. Let me look at the PDF. So spring should have been hearts and summer was diamonds. So we did summer first. So now oh boy. <laughs> but well, the problem is is summer diamonds. also has summer. Oh, we have 10 jack king queen of diamonds in spring. Oh. Oops. Hang on, I can fix that. I say, do we just want to... I don't know. Yeah, it's super easy to fix. Just put the uh, hearts in place and then roll diamonds and hearts the opposite. Yeah. Uh, so we were missing 10. Jack. King and Queen. Then update. All right. So now we can roll spring. Hang on, I'm still confused. Well, we, we rolled all the spring, so we rolled hearts and some diamonds. So do we want to just roll diamonds and some hearts out of summer? Wait, was it a mix of both? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Christ, what did I do? Uh, it, spring spring was hearts except for 10 jack king and queen i think and summer is all diamonds so what if we just make 10 jack queen and king hearts in it and then just roll that table as okay. it is so we open up summer 10 jack king and queen need to become hearts yeah that way we can still roll different cards, even if they're kind of seasonally out of order. Okay, and then we'll unlock that. Update. All right, Jake, roll summer. Seven of diamonds, let's see what we got. Introduce a mystery at the edge of the map, or an unattended situation becomes problematic and scary. What is it? How does it go awry? 
Um, I would also take that one too for my idea. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Dog food factory. <laughs> And I really do like the idea of a mystery. Mysteries um, are fun. Yeah. I'd say uh, behind the apartment complex, somebody's been putting a lot of um, uh, naughty graffiti um, mocking Laura O'Kane. And nobody can see who's doing it. Nobody catches the perpetrator. In it. But it seems like almost every Thursday, Laura has to go and clean the graffiti off of the walls of the apartment complex. Okay. Graffiti. And she has to clean it up weekly. Every Thursday. Okay, cool. Uh, we don't have any projects going, so that's easy. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, take your action, man. I think I will start a new project. Um, um, Somebody wants to build a tunnel through the mountains to maybe uh, extend the highway system through the mountains because the roads, um, because the old roads had to be pretty much abandoned in order to create the field of strange props. So now they're just gonna go ahead and dig through the mountains um, to make a new passageway. Cool. Give me a D6. Six weeks. Oops. I was on the wrong tool. Okay. That's your turn. Yep. Label that so I don't forget. Uh, then it's Joe's turn. All right. Uh, so we're rolling summer now, mm -hmm. you said? Yep. Okay. All right. A young boy starts digging in the ground and discovers something unexpected. What is it? Or an old man confesses to past crimes and atrocities. What has he done? Man. Given what One we of us far, fits those are really good. well. So <laughs> <laughs> what we've been saying. But uh, something unexpected in the ground sounds really fun. Um, um, let's see. I want to say, let's do old man confesses to crimes. Um, and what has he done? Um, he sorry, my cat is attacking me, so it's hard to think. Uh, he has um. He cryptically says he destroyed the door. 
Okay. I wonder if it's going to tie into that strange portal machine that was found. Maybe. Uh, anyway, I'll reduce our die from six to five, and you can take your action. Okay. Uh, let's cover something new. Hold a discussion. Start a project. Um. Let's see. We've got the tunnel through the mountain and the irrigation system, right? Those are our only two projects that we've done, or? Uh, yeah, irrigation system's done, farm is done, crops are done. Tunnel through the mountain's the only one that's currently going. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Projects. Say, um, scout. Well, does it have to be like a constructive it project, doesn't. like no. you're building something, or can it just be like a task that somebody's getting? Just a task that the community would undertake. Um, uh, how about prepping supplies for a scouting mission beyond the mountains? Okay. We can do that. Go ahead and roll me a D6. Okay. So it's going to take three weeks. All right. Uh, and that should be your turn, which means we move up to Dan. All right. Summer. There's another community somewhere on the map. Where are they and what sets them apart from you or what belief or practice helps to unify your community? Hmm. Another community. I kind of want to do another community. That sounds fun. But maybe they're like uh, beyond the wastes. Okay. Maybe the wastes are a little bigger and they're on the other side of it. Like maybe they may maybe they actually come like down to the mountains. I think uh, if I use the right tool, but you should be able to draw around or outside of that gray box there. Oh yeah, I was kind of working like the the box was inside of the space, but let's just say that there's a uh, another community out here. Okay. Actually, I'm going to make them look kind of small cuz they okay. uh, they live underground. Oh. That's it. Community beyond the waste, subterranean community beyond the waste. That's actually how they um, have stayed safe from whatever brought about the destruction. They're the 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 not exactly uh, legally distinct vault dwellers. <laughs> I like it. Cool. Eight stairs. All right. Uh, so that was your card. We'll adjust the dice on our two projects. Uh, then take your action. I actually wanted to also start a project to try and um, restore 
like uh, paths to other communities so that we can try and, you know, entice people to come here. We have food. Okay. So what are you doing again? Basically like repairing or clearing highways and roads that connect to other communities. Cool. Give me a D6. Four. Four seems to be the number. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Put four down there. Uh, that's your turn, which means I get to go. All right. Ooh. A project finishes early. What led to its early completion? Or the weather is nice and people can feel the potential all around them. Start a new project. I want to finish a project early and it's going to be the tunnel through the mountain. Because, you know, four weeks in, they discover a lot of the mountain is hollow. And they break into this huge chamber that's just a perfect tunnel through it and gets them to the other side. Oh, snap. Lollygaggers are raiding us. Oh, dang. My uh, beer foamed over the top and I didn't even notice it. Uh oh. So I... Hey, everyone who's joining, we're playing The Quiet Year to create a, you know, a map, a setting for a possible upcoming post apocalyptic game. Yeah. Charles in charge. Uh, crap, what do I need to do? I adjust the die. Um, and then discuss something new, hold a discussion. Or start a project. Uh, I'm going to do a discussion. Uh, and it's going to be a statement that you all get to add on to. The vault dwellers have an it's odd dude. religion. Uh, Alex, you get to go first. We were discussing their weird religion. Yeah, think of like, um, you know, rumors. Oh, I don't know too much about this. I've heard that they worship the world they found. That's what I heard. They worship what? One of the squirrels. Ah. They worship a squirrel. What I heard. Uh, Jake. I hear that uh, that young girl who goes out to feed the stone animals out in the wastelands. Uh, I hear she's actually working for the underground vault dwellers to give them food instead. Okay. Or maybe they just take it from her without them without her knowing. I don't know. Uh, after Jake is Joe. So it's a, what's the, the statement about this? the vault the dwellers have an odd religion. Odd religion. Okay. Religion. Religion. Um, uh, 
They claim to worship elder gods they refer to as influencers. The gods of, of TikTok and Twitter. <laughs> okay. Damn. Fucking <Like> basement dwelling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there are... <laughs> This maybe plays into mine actually, uh, because their their cult is actually led by an advanced AI. Shit. <laughs> the algorithm. <laughs> we're actually gonna give up on this community that we've been developing and we're gonna change teams to the, <laughs> the underground community. Um I wanna I'll add my last spot onto my statement um the squirrel that they worship they consider to be the avatar of one of the influencers perfect All right, uh, I went, Alex goes. I'm doing a summer card, right? Yeah. Summer is a time for production and tending to the earth. Start a project related to food production or summer is a time for conquest and gathering of might. Start a project related to military readiness and conquest. Starting a project on military readiness and conquest is definitely what I'm picking. We Maybe that's why we're repairing the highways. Yeah. Um, we not only want to be able to welcome those with open arms who only bring prosperous and love, we also want to kill those who don't and or don't have cool foods. Um, so we've been working on making a... Uh, What's the thing that a blacksmith has? It's full of heat. Forge. forge. Shelter. Forge. Yeah. We're trying to build a forge. Okay. So draw where you want it on the map and then roll me a D6. Directly where it makes the most sense. Behind the school. Okay. Forge. Hey, kids, for shop class, we're going to forge some ammunition. There we go. <laughs> we gathered all of that scrap steel <laughs> and are using it to make arms and ammunition. I like how my button just got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Right there, where it says Erg, that's where the forge is. All right, roll me a d6. It's only going to take a week. Gosh, those kids no, are ready to make bullets. Kill. All yes. right. Uh, so the supplies for the scouting mission are all gathered up. So at some point, another project could start that would send those scouts off. The roads are getting close. Uh, after Alex is Jake. I could still take an action. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, my bad. Hmm. Hmm. So I want to hold a discussion. All right. Hold a discussion. So, the forge. What kind of weapons are we making? Ooh. Uh, Jake, you're the first one who gets to answer. Possible rifles. Um, well, I think uh, in terms of making weapons the the sort of starter weapons that everybody's making are just a lot of boot knives (laughs) 
All right, Joe. You did. Are you muted? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, so it's about what weapons we're making with the forge? Yeah, what weapons are being made in the forge? Oh, yeah, brother. Could I say... Um, there's a rumor of like an odd discrepancy of the output where it seems like not enough weapons are created based on how much materials are uh, put in okay. or available. Thinking weapons that count? are hard to may be made. Cool. Uh, Dan. Mm. I was, maybe no one's ever seen them, but supposedly they make crude firearms. So, you know, like, uh, just a pipe that, you know, they got the bullets and stuff like that. So like pipe pistols and pipe rifles. Okay. Uh, all that metal. Yeah, next up is me. So they're making a lot of boot knives, but a lot of materials going in, but not a lot of weapons are coming out. They're also rumored to be making crude firearms. Hey there, Captain. Um, they're making... Because the primary community they're thinking about is the Vault Dwellers. So they're also making those tactical military shovels. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, and then Alex, you get to answer. What kind of stuff are they making? So we got crude, crude weaponry. Yeah, boot knives, material, not enough stuff's coming out given the material. Crude firearms are rumored to be made. Then also tactical combat shovels. Last thing that is said that they're working on. I haven't seen it. Don't know about it. Flamethrower. Cool. Uh, so that was Alex's turn. So now we're over to Jake. Uh, the eldest among you dies, what caused the death? Or the eldest among you is very sick. Caring for them and searching for a cure requires the help of the entire community. Do not reduce project dice this week. Uh, I think old man Pumpernickel died. Um, uh, he died, is he, from, dis is he the he died oldest, from displeasure. Though? Is he the oldest, though? Yeah, that is true. Yeah, he does get replaced from time to time. So the current old man Pumpernickel has died from displeasure. And don't forget, Dylan Pumpernickel went missing going to go investigate the vet. So it could be tied to that, maybe. Possibility. Can I throw something out there? What do you want? Can these Pumpernickels get a number? So he's actually Pumpernickel the fourth. And Every new Pumpernickel, they just add a number. Sure. Old man Pumpernickel the fourth. All right, he died from, you said, displeasure? Yes. So fucking angry that he just died. I think you can list that as natural causes. Okay. Uh, this shit until he did. Let's adjust our project die. So... 
Only a no, week? No, no project dice reduced this week. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. This is a major event. Take an action, then. Um... Oh, gosh. Uh, I think holding a discussion, um, I think I'll just make a statement. Uh, I'm glad old man Pumpernickel died. Based. <laughs> All right, Joe, you get to edit that. Captain, thanks you for those bits. Um, we will get to your question after we wrap up Jake's round of question or statement. Uh, and then we'll ask your question and then continue with our turns as normal. Uh, so yeah, Joe, I'm glad old man Pumpernickel IV died. Okay. Um, he was... Um, abnormally disliked, um, much more than previous, uh, Pumpernickels. But no one seems to remember why. Or actually, no, I, I won't add that last part. I'm just going to say he was abnormally liked. Okay. I'll leave that open. All right. Uh, Dan. Some people say that they dislike him because he increased how many people are in the lottery for the pilgrimage every year. Uh, let's see. Dan went, I'll go. And then Alex gets to wrap it up, right? Or did I skip someone? No, I'm sorry. Jake. Okay. Me, Alex, and then Jake. My bad. Uh, yes. Um, glad old man Pumpernickel IV died. It's abnormally disliked. Some people say it was he was disliked because he increased the number of people in the lottery. But old man Pumpernickel... The fifth should be much better. Uh, she's actually talked about reducing the lottery numbers to the previous level. Even if it's a female, it's still old man pumpernickel. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, then Alex. But I did hear a rumor that the uh, new, the new Pumpernickel has a feud with Laura O'Kane. This might be a power grab to move some things around. Not in Laura's favor. Uh, and then, Jake, you can wrap us up. One last statement. I mean, I regret that old man Pumpernickel died. <laughs> Here he is. All right, now we have a question. Uh, well, Joe, you'll get to answer this first. What is happening with the mice? So with the mice? Yeah, what is happening with the mice? This is a question from Captain Karayan that he paid to get on here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, brother. Were there mice before? Is if this, there were, there are now. now. Okay, okay, just making sure. Um, <laughs> what is happening with the mice? Um, uh, 
Let's see. Um, their their migration patterns are off. <laughs> These Welcome migratory back. mice <laughs> are getting it's harder to predict each yeah. year. Yeah, Dan. Some of the mice are actually controlled by the vault dwellers. <laughs> They're used to spy on people and generate content. <laughs> For their influencing gods. <laughs> so their migration patterns are off. Some of them are controlled by the vault dwellers to help generate content. The mice that aren't controlled by the vault dwellers seem to be getting smarter, and some of them have been used seeing, uh, have been seen using crude tools. Uh, uh, let's see, that was me, Alex. Oh, right, so. Um, uh, it's asking, can I get a wrap up of everything that was said real quick? Yeah. What's happening with the mice? First, their migration patterns are off. Next, some of them are actually controlled by the vault dwellers and used to generate content for their gods. Next, the uncontrolled mice are getting smarter and have been seen using crude tools. I've even heard that those uh, smarter mice uh, seem to be communicating with the dogs. Okay. And Jake. Um, yeah, despite the mice um, <clears throat> moving about, acting strangely throughout the city, uh, the one place they never go near is the apartment complex. I wonder why that is. Okay. Oh, snap. Christopher has shown up. Hey, man, it's been a while. Okay, uh, now we're back on our regular schedule with uh, Joe. All right. Um, summer still? Summer still. Okay. Ace of Diamond. Uh, a contingent within the community demand to be heard. Who are they? What are they asking for? or contingent within the community have acted on their frustrations. What have they damaged and why did they damage it? Is it permanent? Okay, real quick before you answer that, uh, Far Codive, uh, thank you for that sub. That is absolutely fantastic. We appreciate it. Uh, yes, now please continue. Okay. Um, acted on their frustrations and damaged something sounds um, that one sounds more fun uh, let's say um, it's a hermit who lives slightly outside of the main area and he's been smashing some of the stone uh, or the uh, concrete animals. That's what he's frustrated with. Um, 
They damaged it. Why did they damage it? Why did they damage it? Um... Hmm. Can I just say, like, he um, he doesn't want to tell anybody? Sure. Or I want to say that. He's been smashing them. Or his his answer, uh, how about his answer would be out of necessity? Um, and is it permanent? Uh, he says he hopes so. Cool. Uh, let's adjust our dice, and we'll go ahead and have you take your action. Uh, all right. So weapons are ready to go, and we are now a week away from the roads being repaired for the other communities. Okay. Take my action. Um. <laughs> Hold a discussion, I think. Um, what are some rumors or um, tall tales surrounding these concrete animals? I don't think we've done that already, have we? We've had a couple things that are around them, but not specifically about them. Sure. About them. Okay. So, Dan, yeah. you get to answer first. Because I know kind of one of our first things is that uh, we suggested that they, they move around at night, but no one's ever seen it happen. Yeah. Uh, we, we have some people who have been sent off into the waste as punishment, right? Yep. Some of them have disappeared without a trace. Yep. And even some of the concrete animals have shown up around the silo. Yep. Um, maybe every once in a while, concrete animal shows up by the apartments or by the school or just somewhere completely different. What it's doing there, how it got there, unclear. Uh, all right, so I get to answer. What are some rumors surrounding the concrete animals? Um, sometimes through the years. Hey, I have a thing. Okay, cool. Sometimes, through the years, uh, it looks like one of the concrete animals is pregnant. And then all of a sudden, the concrete animal appears not to be pregnant. And there's a new concrete animal. A baby concrete animal. They're reproducing. Alex. Muted? No? Okay. There was a noise. Did you say Chuck? What? What did you just say? You I thought you were weird. muted, but you weren't. Oh, no. What was your answer? Uh, oh, uh, they're reproducing. There's a rumor that they're reproducing. Ooh. Producing. Reproducing baby concrete animals. Producing. 
I'm on empty right now. Okay. You want to pass and we can come back to you? Yeah, if you could. Okay. Uh, Jake? I don't even think these animals are moving on their own or anything like that. I think it's just some weird guy playing tricks on that crazy hermit who's smashing things up. Cool. The totally skeptical approach. Hmm. So Joe, you asked, so one, two, three, Joe, answer. Okay. Um, we'll get to that right after this, Captain. Let's see. And this was like strange facts about the concrete. What are animals. rumors surrounding the concrete rumors animals? Surrounding them. Rumors. Um, most of the, um, or a lot of the, uh, I don't know what you would call it. Uh, some people that have tried to study these concrete animals and find purpose in them have claimed that the erosion on the concrete animals from the weather seems to be abnormally uh, like I don't know a good word like uh, they're abnormally eroded like there's uh they seem to be very very old based on how their erosion is I can't word things right now I'm tired. that's fine <laughs> Uh, Alex, you got anything? I heard that Pumpernickel the Third is the one that put them all out there, but nobody knows why. Okay, uh, that was Joe's turn. We have a question from chat. What's that smell? Uh, I'm just gonna... Cooking? What's that? The rock is cooking? Yeah. I'm gonna start myself out with one, ending with Dan on a five. Six is a reroll. I'm just gonna roll to see who gets to start this off. Three. <coughs> Jake, what's that smell? Ah, uh, geez. Sorry about that. I had that bean for dinner. Uh, Joe? Um, let's see. Let's say, um, people buy that old machine portal thing. Um, smell a, like, really acidic, like, coppery smell. All right, Dan. I think sometimes from like the cave that they opened up in the mountain, they sometimes smell like machinery, you know, but never, never see anything, never hear anything, never find anything. Uh, okay, that was Dan. Shit, it's my turn. What's that smell? Aw, oh, gee, sorry about that. I had a bean for dinner. People buy the old machine, smell a really acidic copper smell while near it. And sometimes, from the tunnel in the mountain, they smell machinery, but never see, hear, or find anything. Uh, I'm gonna go with... Every now and then, in the waste... There's odd piles of rocks that smell like rotten flesh. Alex, what's that smell? 
Um, that time of the season, all the squirrels uh like to do their thing to get more squirrels. A little bit more smellier than, than we're used to. Okay. It's the scent of squirrel sex. All right. We are at time. And I think the juices are starting to slow down a little bit. Uh, so we'll pause it here. And at some point in the future, we'll come back and continue this on. We're still on spring. We got through... Summer. So oh much. Oh, we're still on summer. We got through and we've got one, two, three, four, five. Um, so a little less... Uh, we're a little more than halfway through summer. And then we still have fall and winter after that. So, yeah. yeah. The Chris winter can randomly end. Yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah, we're going to wrap up here and come back to it. We'll go through a full review to get us back into position. Uh, we'll probably just roll randomly to see where we start, because I think we were getting ready to start on... Dan? Is that I right? think so, yeah. Yeah. Well, if we remember that, we'll start there. If not, we'll roll randomly. There we go. Oh, God. Nuttier than squirrel shit. Ain't that the truth? Um. Anyway, yeah. That is a good time to wrap it. Uh, we'll be back next week, hopefully with some more Anvia playtesting. Next hey. week should be less crazy. Yeah. So. And next time Joe needs a break, we'll come back to some more of the quiet year. Uh, yeah, we'll wrap there. Uh, this week... Oh, shit, what do we got planned for this week? Well, tomorrow night over on Grim and Perilous Plays, they are kicking off a new heart campaign. Uh, pretty oh. much all I can tell you is I'm in it, Jeff is running it, and Adam is in it. Um... And I don't know much more <laughs> other than that. Uh, I'll be playing a heretic. Uh, Sunday night, we'll be hanging out over on Birch Channel for some Shadow Run. Uh, Monday night, we'll be hanging out over on the Lollygaggers for some Hauler. I think that's right. Is that right, Dan? Yes. Joe? Yeah, this should be this Monday. You got a replacement for Dogmore? Pretty much all, but like one thing is done. So. Cool. Uh, next Wednesday, we'll be doing some Forbidden Lands Thunder Rift. Next Thursday, we're scheduled for Curse of Strahd. And then finally, we'll be wrapping up. Not wrapping up. We'll be returning next Friday. That's the word I was looking for, for some more Anvia playtesting. So, yeah, that's what we got. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for those bits. Um... And yeah, until we see you next time, start fires, do drugs, and uh, go on pilgrimages for your elders. Deuces.